What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Uh, I am in Mexico with Nomadic Waters fishing at the Angler's Inn Lodge and that right there is sunrise on Lake Picachos. What's going on everybody, Gunner here. Uh, in this episode of the Mass Class, I want to talk about non-slip loop knots. Uh, and basically, as far as streamers are concerned, there's going to be two major advantages. Uh, the first one is going to be direction change. When you have a loop knot, which is loose fitting against a big hook eye, it allows that fly to change directions, right? Because it doesn't have to bend leader material. This allows you to use thicker leader material, more abrasion resistance, bigger fish, fishing around structure. So you use bigger leader material while maintaining fly action. Because if, if you want a fly to move well, one of the easiest things to do is drop down to thinner tippets so that the fly can bend the tippet material. But you want to be able to use 30 and 20 pound tippet when you're fishing structure like we are right now. And when you do that, having a big loose connection allows the fly to turn, stall out, and literally push instead of having to bend leader material. That's typically how you're going to increase fly action. It's absolutely critical. The second thing that's going to happen is it's going to allow flies to drop that are jig flies. If you have a fly, and so use this to your advantage because it's not right or wrong. I'm not saying you have to use an, a, a loop knot with a jig fly, but understand when you want a fly to get down, the easiest thing for a fly to do is to drop. And if you have a loop to loop, the fly can turn and pull the leader down, right? But if you have that cinched down with a uni or an improved clinch or whatever knot you prefer and it's a tight knot and your fly wants to dip head first and now has to bend and pull that leader material instead of just turning and going down. So that loop knot's going to allow you to get depth quickly. It's also going to allow you to get vertical drops right next to the structure that you then swim up and vertical drop right next to the structure. So use that to your advantage. If you don't want the head dip, if you want a weighted fly to stall out more, cinch it tight to the nose, right? So it's just a simple matter of knot choice. Now what I want to do is there's a few complicated non-slip loop knots out there, and I used one that was shown to me by Kelly Gallup, and I believe it's called the Homer Rhodes Knot. So I'm going to get some 40 pound here, flip the camera around so you see it from your perspective, and I'm going to show you the non-slip loop knot that I have used for six or seven years now, and I have, I've never had it fail given I'm using the appropriate line size. It's a phenomenal knot. So let's do this. I have to excuse the fact that this has a knot on it already. It got slimed by about 10 big old bass this morning. I'm using 40 pounds simply for the fact that it's large diameter tippet. So what you're going to want to do, and I'll try to do this against the table here, you're going to come in and you're going to tie an overhand knot. So I'm going to put the loop behind, the loop's going behind, coming right through and I just have an overhand. I'm going to come up through the underside of that hook eye, Make sure that loop is down and thread it through. So right now you just have an overhand and the tag end runs through it. Now if you come up here, I'm just gonna do a double overhand. It's called the surgeon's knot, double surgeons. And the two knots will pull into each other in seat. And of course you wanna get that wet so that the heat from the, the slippage here doesn't hurt the mono. Not used to doing it with 40 pound. And that'll cinch down nice and tight. And look at that big loose, loose connection. That's your degrees of freedom, that's your movement, your action, the ability to turn and pull straight down, the ability to turn and pull sideways. That increases fly of movement tenfold more than anything. Use it to your advantage. All right guys, so that's the short, simple video, the Homer Rhodes non-slip loop that I've used forever now, and it's absolutely killer. Hope that helps you out and gets you more fish. Thanks for watching.
that's what I figured. Like there? Oh, oh.